much like Karina, I actually found out I was gay when I was quite young. I had no idea there was this guy in Iowa. He's like, what? Who's that an earring? You're some kind of faggot? I had no idea. I really didn't. Uh, so I was, we got this uh, roast battle coming up here. And they were kind of like, hey, you get, a, you get to go up against Karina. And I'm like, oh, great. The old fucking white guy. <laughs> Gets, gets to go up against the young Jewish lesbian. <laughs> what what could go wrong here, right? Uh, and I was torn. I was torn about this. I mean, not like that fisting uh, uh, seminar that I went to. Uh, <laughs> it was a little different. Uh, it, I, read, I misread the flyer. I thought it said fishing, and they were looking for catchers, but. Uh, I did learn. You don't. You don't start like this. No, no. <laughs> you have not. You have not learned. So, anyway, I digress. I, I didn't really want to uh, talk about this team. Um, I'm doing the whole uh, no shave November thing. Uh, the, the no nut November, I, I blew that right away. Uh, that didn't last for shit. But uh, this is going to go for about another month, and somebody's going to call me Santa Claus, and I'm going to shave it off again. Which always happens. I, I actually kind of looked like Santa Claus after he got out of jail before he started giving kids free shit. Uh, that's fine. But uh, I'm also uh, not manscaping during no shave November, so. Once it starts getting a little longer, uh, my crotch is going to kind of look like uh, Betty White with a dead snake hanging out of her mouth. Uh, oh, I love Betty White. I'd bang her right now. Fuck yeah. It's on my fucking list. Fuck yeah. But when I was younger, uh, my hair was darker and it would look more like the chick from the ring. Uh, what's going on there? But none of this is really actually what I came to talk about. I came to talk about wildlife and uh, the difference between the mainland and here. We get experiences with wildlife on the mainland that are totally different here. I'm, I'm from up by Canada, so we got moose and elk and deer, bear, mountain lion, all that shit, right? And here, you don't see much wildlife unless you're in the ocean, right? And I learned one thing the first day I moved here is that you're supposed to do a pee on a jellyfish thing. Yeah, not, not, not a jelly stain. I can't go to back to Denny's. Um, but to pee on a jellyfish sting, at least that's what that chick told me. Um, I hadn't been in the ocean yet. I mean, but I'm no doctor. Um, and she could charge me like 30 bucks. It's like an outpatient treatment kind of thing. And now I grew up in the Northwest, which is like the largest producer of uh, garbanzo beans in the world. So I, I like some chickpea in my mouth, but that's a little different. That's a little different. So uh, the, wild, the wildlife here, I've had experiences uh, that I don't get on the mainland. I had a cockroach flying in my mouth while I was riding a motorcycle the other day. That was fucking awesome. I hit the nearest ABC store and got a toothbrush. So here's the thing. I, I used to do drugs. I mean, I still do. But I used to it also. But that was like 15 minutes ago in the bathroom. Oh, you know, hopefully in a perfect world. So don't judge me. Uh, I was at home. Who the fuck is coming? Why are you calling me right now? Um, I was going to do a little line of cocaine. And uh, so I laid it out and I was like, I had that little four-year-old got to pee right now. So I, I'll do that. I go pee, I come back, and there's like three ants taking away bits of my cocaine. I'm like, the fuck you are. <laughs> fuck you, ants. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so um, a friend gave me one of those uh, 
Jackson's chameleons. You know, the ones with the independent eyes, and you got the tongue that's like three fucking times as long as their body, where the fuck is so weird, I don't even know. If you see that in slow motion, it's kind of impressive. It comes out, and it doesn't just like grab the bug and like pull it in. It like, it like gives it like a, 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 you know, a couple jabs across and an uppercut, and then it pulls out a knife and takes its wallet, and it's like in a half a second. It's really quick. Um, then it's a bug. So a friend of mine gave me this Jackson chameleon, and she's like, you know, I just let it run my house. You know, it eats bugs and it's fucking sweet. Um, it took to uh, sleeping with me for warmth that night. Um, and you know how if you've ever slept with a baby or a puppy or whatever, you kind of you kind of know where it is before you turn it, right? And that's kind of where we developed, you know, we developed this relationship. So one night I was, uh, I wake up, I'm going to turn over, and I, you know, where, where's Jackson? I called him Jackson because I'm not very imaginative. I know it was a guy or a girl, whether I didn't like find the clue, like a whatever, like see road. But I'm, I'm like in bed, and I feel him, and it's like he's like down here by my ass. And I was kind of bulldogging, and uh, guys, you know what bulldogging is? Uh, girls, maybe not. Uh, bull, bulldogging is kind of like the, uh, the full puck from uh, Science of the Lambs. You know, like, fuck me. Right. But it's just your balls, and then and you put them on your friend's shoulder. Right, man, I'll look at you. Got him, fucker. So I was full of love. And uh, I farted on Jackson. And he, he punched my left nut. Uh, you know, it, it wasn't so much the impact, it was the, the snap back. Because he. <laughs> and let go. It's like. <laughs> and so, uh, if anybody wants uh, Jackson's chameleon, uh, He's talking about nice. He's trying to come out. He's fucking coming in, you little bastard. All right, that's my time. Thank you, Todd. That's so funny. You rescued a Jackson.